does work. All right, guys, we're finding ourselves in a supercharged E92 M3. We got Jerez Black. We got a DCT. So if you guys have been following the channel for long enough, you know that I actually drove an ESS 625 with the six-speed. Uh, that was like a while ago. That was Michael's car. And uh, today we're in Perry's car, which has the DCT and a VF 595. So it has the full kit from VF Engineering. And uh, this thing is definitely a beast. Like with the DCT, it's so easy to downshift. It's so easy to accelerate. And of course, if you're familiar with the platform, you're gonna be so like, it's so confidence inspiring, um, especially coming from like my car or any sort of comparable BMW or whatever. Um, obviously, you know, the DCT can be driven like very sanely or you can go really insanely. So not only does this thing have a lot of power, but we also have a nice big brake kit here from Brembo uh, on the front for now. I know Perry has plans to put the rear brakes on as well. So very respectful of that. A lot of guys put a ton of power and they don't really put a lot of money into anything else. Um, I should mention it also has the uh, KW coilovers, which are really great. It works with the EDC. Uh, you can go into what I call Lexus mode because it's very smooth or you can go into the MDM mode, which a lot of guys have the more aggressive setup uh, pre-programmed in. So it's very familiar. You guys can probably hear that this thing is not stock from the exhaust standpoint as well. Uh, this thing is a little bit, a little bit raspy crazy. Um, it definitely takes a unique person to like it. So this thing has test pipes, an X pipe, and an M performance exhaust. So essentially, with that said, you have no resonators <laughs> and no cats. So you're pretty much an open setup, and uh, it's just very raspy, very loud, very nasty. And what's funny is when you pair it with the DCT, it really snaps, it's like a whip cracking. Um, if you guys kind of remember what my car sounds like, it has definitely a rasp to it, but this thing is like on a whole nother level. Yeah. And of course this thing grips, it has really nice Michelin Pilot 4S tires with the brakes. I mean, the brakes are great. Um, okay, and here we come in underpass. Downshifts, it's like it's like meow, like it Everyone doesn't screw it. Downshift, downshift, then slow down and get to about three downshift. Oh, yeah, it's like Chris. Oh, yeah, make it right here. It's so easy. scary oh my god the camera's all jumbled all right all right Did you okay get it? <laughs> yes I think I, I got it I got it all all right so that should sum up like if you guys are curious what a supercharged DCT M3 is like 
it's exactly like that where just literally like get on the highway mash the gas and uh, make sure you have proper brakes but I mean who is this car for I mean it's really for the person that's like wants that analog experience because like the turn in of the m3 the motor the exhaust like the way these things drive is literally like nothing else the new f80s the f82s are actually they're amazing cars but they they're you know they don't have that like special feel that these cars feel at least for me and a lot of the guys that like these cars uh, so if you are interested in supercharging it I guess I mean there's a reason why a lot of people supercharge these things um, but wow and what's great about like these cars which I always love like even a stock one like mine's like pretty stock it has a tune and basic stuff on it it drives so nice so if you actually want to go in a date well maybe a date in this car might be a little bit too loud if you don't know her but generally speaking it's a great date night car it's not gonna offend anyone Unless you pretty much, is it straight piped? Would you say? I mean, this? pretty much. It's it's it's, it's a straight. No, it's not straight. I would, it's not straight pipe, but it's like a step below it. Yeah. Yeah. And you got a muffler and, and no cats and no. Yeah. Really okay. So you do have a muffler. So in my car, you really got to work for it. You know, you have a six-speed and you have less power. So this is the VF five ninety five, probably about. 500 horsepower to the wheels would you say that's right yeah something, something yeah. Like that, yeah so you still have a lot of power I mean 500 to the wheels is no joke uh, especially when you don't really I'm not gonna say you don't really feel it because you definitely feel it um, but with the DCT you're not as aware um, because it's doing this instead of doing this and then obviously the clutch so uh, you know it's totally different experiences I don't know man like this is a great very reliable actually besides the rod bearings so the owner Perry did rod bearings did the VF kit did the suspension did the tires did the brakes um, so all the right things if you're gonna go this power it's uh, a lot to invest but it really it really makes a great package all right guys so we are at the part of the video where I kind of want Perry to give sort of an overview of the E92 M3. I always like to talk to the owners. I don't want to butcher kind of what he's done to it and I want to kind of understand a little bit more about the build, the goal, and maybe future plans or something like that. So I'm gonna put you on the spot here. You gotta run, now give us the rundown of what you've done, why, and how you like it. All right, so we got a 2009 uh, BMW E92 M3. Uh, did rod bearings about 44,000 miles. Uh, currently have 57 so I, I put the supercharger right after I did rod bearings and um, had the supercharger for about, probably about 10,000 miles um, bought it from a fellow uh, YouTube member named Spencer Burke I'm sure you guys are watching this video you know who Spencer Burke is. So you have Spencer uh, Burke's supercharger that's cool. Yeah uh, he gave me a pretty good deal on it that being said with all the power of a 595 uh, obviously had to upgrade the suspension and brakes as well um, the brakes I went with a Brembo or Race Technologies as uh, their sister company is called where you can purchase Brembo from. 380 millimeter rotors on the front, 380 millimeters on the rear as well. Six piston front, six, uh, four piston rear. Um, those are actually in the mail at, at the moment uh, for the rears. For suspension I have a KW HAS system. That is a pretty nice system. It's uh, in between springs and coilover. Yeah, so it works with EDC. Yep, that and it keeps your uh, EDC so I can uh, put it as uh, Brandon was saying, uh, Lexus mode. Yeah, super comfortable, which is accurate. It's very close to what my car feels like, you know, if I can try, try to remember. And then uh, if you want to go back into sport, you just push it like you were normally in. Uh, you know, mine's programmed MDM mode to go to sport automatically. Yeah. You guys already noticed the exhaust yeah, in the car here. It doesn't here. sound quite stock. Um, <laughs> it doesn't drone as bad as it probably sounding in the video. Uh, it's a little bit raspy. I'm on the on the verge of putting some resonators on it or not. Um, the exhaust setup is a. Don't bash me on this, guys. It's a uh, eBay X pipe. Uh, no, no cats. No resonators. I do got a quality muffler though. It's a M Performance muffler. Um, doesn't sound that bad. I'll downshift for you guys. Just get a little. Uh, and we're gonna try.
try to throw the camera into the yeah. window. <laughs> <laughs> Brakes work. Uh, that pretty much sums up the build. Yeah. Uh, other than that, we got a couple little aesthetic pieces. I don't know if you've seen the interior yet. Uh, we got some IND yellow uh, performance buttons, start buttons, uh, and then M button. We got M performance Alcantara wheel. Um, Auto Technic full interior carbon kit. Also have a Palm Performance GT4 front lip. In the trunk? Yeah, in the trunk. Um, don't know what brand that is. I got it from a uh, fellow E90 member. Well, uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for uh, letting me drive and uh, tell me about the build. Super cool. Um, I will say, like, you know, someone supercharges, they do suspension, they do all this stuff, and like in my mind, you know, I feel like the car is gonna be like a race car. And I know that sounds like a novice thing to say, um, but to be honest with you, like the car really drives nice. The exhaust. A little antisocial, if I do say so, uh, but it's all you know, kind of personal preference. So you know, it's it makes my ex exhaust literally doesn't it makes my exhaust sound like there's no rasp at all. Uh, it almost sounds like when you uh, when you did some blips, it almost sounds like a snare drum. Like it's like crazy. So I'll put your information in the description, at least your Instagram or whatever, because he has actually a car specific car uh, Instagram for this car. So you guys will be able to see updates and shoot him some questions if you have any. And uh, that's it. So fun car, crazy fast, and uh, thank you guys for watching.